A groundbreaking study could determine if a baby as young as three months old mm -hmm. is at risk for developing autism. Right now, most children can't get a reliable diagnosis until at least one year old. In tonight's Family Focus, anchor Erica Bryant learned this early detection could also lead to prevention. Chase Minacucci seems to be a typically developing toddler. Ready, set, go, go. But Chase and his mom are taking precautions because he's been identified as at risk. He has a seven-year-old brother who has autism. Did the testing and one day after his fourth birthday, the doctor said, so your son has autism. His parents also have a daughter who does not have autism, but autism is more prevalent in boys. And research shows one in five children whose siblings have autism will develop it too. I was literally making myself crazy over it. But his mom got chased into this study at Boston Children's Cognitive Neuroscience Lab. Babies from three months to 36 months old wear this cap with over 100 sensors. The TV showing cartoons is also an eye tracker. By studying their EEG signals or electrical activity in the brain, doctors can predict who is likely to develop autism. The overall finding is they tend not to look at faces as much. Researchers see some changes in brain patterns as early as three months old, suggesting autism may begin before birth. Can we develop an intervention that will prevent those kids from developing autism? As for Chase, right now he doesn't seem to display the warning signs, giving his mom reassurance. And I can start to enjoy my baby now. Erica Bryant, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The EEG caps are relatively inexpensive. Researchers hope someday soon that every local pediatrician's office will have one. They want all infants to be tested within a critical window of time.